Gold in the big engine and Thomas the tank engine and puff buffer to buffer back home. It had been a busy day. First Thomas had teased Gordon about the time the big engine had slipped to a ditch. Then Thomas fell down a mine and Gordon came to his rescue. Remember Thomas, old Gordon grandly, united we stand, together we fall. You help me and I'll help you. I'll remember, replied Thomas, but I hope the fat controller can forgive us. As the two engines whistled in the sheds, everywhere they looked, they saw paint pots and painters. Bust my buffers! What's happening? Shh! whispered Percy. The fat controller is going to tell us now. Ladies, gentlemen, and engines. I am honored to inform you that Her Majesty the Queen is coming here to visit us. Now, with the preparations. The engines wondered who would pull the royal train. I'm too old to pull important trains. I'm in disgrace, sighed Gordon. You'll choose me, of course, boasted James. You, snorted Henry. You can't climb hills. So that's me to pull the train, and I'll have a new coat of paint. Then the rain came. Henry's driver and fireman covered out their cap to keep dry. A painter was on a ladder above the line. Henry's smoke blew high into the air. Oh, the painter away. couldn't see. Ah. Both he and the paint pot fell all over Henry. Here's a wrist. Poor Henry. Well, you're not a pretty picture. No, sir, and the painter. On that man's wrist. The fire controller spoke next. You look like an ice cake, Henry. That won't do for the royal train. I must make other arrangements. Gordon and Thomas were waiting for him. Please, Please sir. sir. One at a time. Yes, Gordon. Make Thomas have his branch line again. Mm. I think you both are sorry and deserve a treat. Edward will go in front to clear the line. Thomas will look after the coaches and Gordon will pull the train. The great day came. All the engines worked hard bringing people to the town. Thomas sorted out the coaches in the yard. Edward steamed in. Peep, peep! The Queen is here! The Queen is here! Then Gordon whistled as he approached the station. Everyone knew that sound. The Queen's train glided into the station. Gordon was spotless and his brass shone brightly. The fat controller stood to attention. Welcome, ma'am. The queen thanked him for a splendid run and asked to see all the engines. Beep, beep, beep. beep. whistled Toby and Percy. Shush, Miss Henry and James, but Toby and Percy never cared. Three cheers for the queen, a peep, peep, whistled the engines. When it was time to leave, the queen spoke especially to Thomas, who fetched two coaches. Then to Edward the blue engine, and finally to Gordon the big engine who took her away. No engines ever felt prouder than those on the fat controller's railway. <laughs>